called Jamie Rogers here today for Craft Mania, and I am back with our October, always check the right month, October handpicked by Bundle. And I always say this, and every month I'm like, we can't do this again. We can't bring you a huge saving month on month. We can't do it. I actually think, and I haven't looked it up, I think today is our hugest saving yet. Uh, it's your bundle is actually going to be worth sixty nine pounds and twenty one p, and I don't think we've got above about sixty seven before, and it weren't even done on purpose. Um, but we have got an incredible bundle for you. Now, if you're wondering what I'm waffling on about, and you've never seen these videos before, and you've never heard of the handpick by bundle, basically every month, me being Jamie, I go round all of our suppliers and our stock in our stock room, see what we can bring you for an incredible saving that I genuinely think works together. So you don't have to to put too much thought into if it's going to work how these things are going to layer will they work size wise will they work color wise i've tried to do a bit of that hard work for you i know that as crafters we struggle sometimes to know if things are going to complement each other know if they're going to work know if the colors are going to match so where i can i like to try and help you with that then on top of that we give you a huge saving now the saving has as i just mentioned got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and i promise you we're going to have to rein this back in because we simply can't afford to keep doing this but this month we are going to give you £69 and 21 p's worth of products delivered to your door if you live within the UK for only £30. You know by now, whenever you spend over £5 on the website, it is free UK PMP. So your bundle at £30 obviously qualifies for that too. But I keep talking about the UK. If you live internationally, sadly, we don't offer free PMP, but at the moment, it's still capped at only £10. So if you would still like to get your bundle, your bundle is going to cost you the most of 40 UK pounds. So again, good time to get them. Huge saving, still saving an astronomical amount of money. And to be honest, and I always do this, and my other half who is recording this is going to laugh at me in a minute, I always look at what I'm trying to save when I'm shopping. And you are technically saving more than you're spending. That's a good time to spend money. Anyway, enough waffling from me. Let's show you what's in your bundle so you can see if this is one that you'd like to get. As a last little bit though, Think Christmas, not as in the theme, but Christmas presents. Maybe you want to give some of this away as a Christmas present, or maybe you'd like this bundle as a Christmas present. Now, a little disclaimer here, if your loved one has shared this video on their Facebook page, it means they want you to buy this for them for Christmas. So anyone who's looking at this thinking they'd like it as a Christmas present, get here in the share button and show your loved ones that this is what you would like. We also do gift vouchers as well, just as a little idea. So on with your bundle let's share with you what's in here so your first die set is from sue wilson this is your petite dianthus now in here you have got six dies you have got three flower tops here you've got your two twiddly bits and you've got your little centers as well now i'm going to be honest i already had this die set before i got my hands on this month's bundle so i've now got two of them i'm not even actually going to lie to you i think it means i've got three of them now um but do you know what i want that with this flower set because i know when i use this i'm going to cut millions of these because i'm going to be layering my flowers three four layers deep and i don't want to keep waiting for them to go through the machine so even if you've already got this one this one might be a good little backup to have so you don't have to keep waiting for it to cut if you haven't got it i think you're going to fall in love with it you're probably going to want to order more of them this is how i do with most of my flower dyes i often tell you all that french marigold is my favorite flower i think i've got four sets of that one as well i'm a bit of a hoarder truth be known but when i'm cutting a4 plates, I want to fill them full of flowers, get them cut so I can get on with the building bit, get on with the creating bit. Watching it go through the machine, yeah, yeah, yeah. not fun. So the more I can cut, quicker the better. So we have got your lovely putty down. First, I'm going to struggle with that, I warn you now. That is your flower set. That's going to be in your bundle. We then have for you, now this is gorgeous. And we don't stock this. This is a brand new line for our bundle. This is Sue Wilson's Friends and Tags Roxy Dye. So in here, we receive three dyes. Uh, being part of um, Sue's Friends and Tags collection, we know that this means that she names them after all of her friends. So Roxy will be one of her friends. Now, a little just, uh, idea for you too, a little bit of help here. When you purchase this, on the inside of your packaging, so your die will come for you on the back there, like you can see here. On the inside of your packaging, you will also find some inspiration done by Sue Wilson to give you some ideas on how you can be using this, as well, of course, our video today and the blog post that we'll talk about later from the Craft Mania and Design team. Now, with this die, you actually have three different parts to it. 
So I'm going to bring the die set in so you can see this because I think it's always quite important that you see it as it is. So when you look at it on the packaging, that's what you're going to see. Breaking these layers down, what this actually means is we have an outside layer, we have our filigree layer, and we have our inside layer. So options here, and I'll show you this when we go through and cut them. That means this part can cut into your card stock and stay there. So if you want to leave that as just a filigree cutout on the front of your card and then build bits on top in the middle, build bits around the edge, you can absolutely do that. If you would like to bring in this part and nest it on the inside of it and cut that, you're going to have a window in which you could then actually infill pieces in the inside. Maybe you want to put a backing plate behind it. Maybe you want to hang things in there. Maybe you want to put photos in there. The choice is yours. Or if we take that one out, and we're bringing this one, we can put this one around it, and then suddenly we're going to cut that out as an individual panel, and this part in the middle is going to be solid. So you can then build up on top of that one. Or, of course, we can use all of them together, and you can send that through, and you're going to have that as a freestanding frame. Or we can use just this part to cut a backing plate to go underneath this panel. And I'm going to show you all of these sort of ideas as in the samples when we flick through them. And I doubt I've even told you all of them, but there's just a few ways in which you can use this die set to give you a lot more value for money and a lot more freedom to create with it. And I think that's something Sue's really good at, is giving you all of these pieces to play with. So you've got as many options as she can possibly give you. So that's going to be your Roxy die set. So I'll pop that to one side. Now, I can't remember the retail price of this one, if I'm being honest with you, but I can tell you that's a big chunk of your £30, or more so in the other way, a big chunk of your £69.21 bit. I think I got it right down actually. Roxy should be £16.50. So when you're looking at your bundle price and thinking, well, £30 for the bundle, if you were to buy that on its own, £16.30. So you're getting everything else for like 14 quid. Bargain. Carry on so you can see what else is in here. Then we have a set of stamps from Phil Martin. Now, these are like a DL size sheet of stamps, lots of different stamps in here, and they're really actually quite cool little um, verses or sentiments. I'm going to read you just a couple of them, a couple of my favourites. Friends and family are our greatest treasure. Now, as a scrapbooker, I can see that being put on so many pages. I can also see this being done in framed work for home decor, bits like that, as well as, of course, on your cards, on the inside of your cards little sentiments on your envelopes, gift tags. I can see these going for quite a few things. Another one, be fierce in your pursuit of happiness. Always be the best version of yourself. Believe me, you are good enough. Take care of you. The rest can wait. Uh, just be your unique individual self. Don't sorry. Don't look back. You're not going that way. I like that. I thought that was a lovely one. But I like all of them, to be honest. Enjoy all your life's simple little pleasures. Always be true to your dreams. Measure your success by memories, not things. I love them. I think they're really lovely. And I don't even think I've read all of them. But there's a good little idea there of what you've got in that set as well. We carry on. Let's see, what's in this one? This is a triple layer collection dragonfly. Now, Sue's released a whole triple layer collection. And I have actually collected quite a few of these because I'm in love with them. There's a hummingbird that I use an awful lot. But we had never stocked the dragonfly and I had never had the dragonfly. So I was quite excited when I see this one and thought we could add this into your bundle. And again, this one has a lot of options to it because it's a triple layer die. So if I bring in the dies, this is what that actually means. It means we have an outside edge. So very similar to what we were talking about with Roxy. We can cut that out. We can use that on its own. We can create our backing plates for these. We could cut these out of our self-adhesive sheets. We could put glitter on them, bits like that. We can certainly use that as it is. Or we can cut our apertures out with that one if we'd like to. Then we have two different layers. Now the layers, these don't have edges around them. That's where the original die that we were talking about comes into play. So you can nest that inside there and cut that out. The two layers, you're going to notice, they step down in size. So we have really tiny sort of cutout pieces and then slightly larger ones. And the idea is, and I'll show you this when we do our little demo shortly, you're going to use the backing plate, you're going to cut a solid one. You're then going to cut another one out of maybe the same colour, maybe a different colour, with that insert in it. Then you're going to cut one from that one, and then you're going to layer all three of them together. And when we do this, and I can show you this with the two dies, obviously you'd never do this, but just so you can see how they look, when we lay one on top of the other one, you can see that secondary colour, that underneath colour is going to start to come through. Then when you bring in that solid one underneath that with another colour in it, you can have your three layers all in different shades. So it just works really nice and neatly. 
If you don't want to go for lots of different colours, just by doing them all in one colour card can look really nice as well. So you don't have to be as full on as that. To give you a little idea on the inside of the packaging for this one again, we have a couple of cards designed by Sue, telling you exactly what she's used on the bottom to give you some ideas. But you can see here we've got the black, the white and the red working through them layers, giving you a little glimpse at what that's going to be able to achieve for you. Of course, if you don't want to cut them out like this and you'd like to just use them as cuttings as well, because of that blade is a separate outside edge, you could just be cutting these actually into your work uh, or into your card. So again, you could create your very own apertures on the front of your card. You could cut this out of a layer and then layer that on top. There's so many ways we can work with them. It really is ridiculous. Again, we've got that freedom because of Sue's thought of the ways that you can use these. Now, sticking with our lovely layering idea, we have a layering background. Now, this again, when we're talking of value, this is a big set of dies. Let's see if I got this one wrote down to tell you how much this one is. Is this one Elsa? Oh, it is Elsa. Lovely. So this Elsa die is $17.99. So when we start looking at this one and your Roxy die, even if you just said out of this whole bundle, I just want to buy them two items, the recommended price for that would be over your £30. So already we know we're going to get the Petite Dianthus, we're going to get the set of stamps, we're going to get the Dragonfly, all as a freebie. And you've saved another, I think it's about £1.50, is it? My maths really is quite shocking, hence why we do such good deals. So with this one, same idea as the Dragonfly, we have two dies in here, and these are big dies, you can see that, they're nice sized dies. These again layer exactly the same as what I just spoke to you about with the Dragonflies. Slight difference with those ones is that, of course, you've got that outside edge giving you the backing plate, but this being a rectangle, that's easily achievable with a trimmer instead. So you've just got two filigree dies, one obviously with smaller cutouts than the other one. And the idea is, again, you're not going to layer the dies. So don't look at this and think that's what I'm going to do. But it means when you cut these out, you can layer one on top of the other. And you're going to have that little hint of colour in the underneath layers. So you can stack your shades, you can stack your colours, and they're going to work really well for you. When we actually show you the inside of this packaging, again, skipping to some of Sue's work, there's a couple of cards in here. I love this one where she's gone for different shades of pink, but it's just a really pretty way to show you what we mean regarding the layers and how you can create those effects. Very, very easy, very simple, because the dies are going to do the work for you. If you have some of Sue's stitched rectangle dies, you'll also find they fit quite nicely around these. So if you'd prefer to cut them out as a separate panel, you can do that as well. And I'll show you that on some of my samples when we get to them as well. So already we've given you four sets of dies and a set of stamps. What else could we need? Cardstock. So we have for you a packet of cards. Now yours will come packed so that it keeps it nice and neat in the post. But I've already got ahead and I've opened up one of these to show you. Now we have been teasing you. We did a video that come out on about, oh I don't even know the day, maybe the 29th of September, something along them lines, where we show you some of the cut and emboss folders. And I'll show you those again at the end here with some samples made of them. Uh, and we told you that this card was launching on today's video or for our handpicked by in October. This is your sample bundle. So you can buy the card in all of the colours I'm going to show you. And they come in packs of 10. You'll find them on the Handpick by website page when you go on there. Um, and you can buy them all in packs of 10. But in our bundle, we didn't want to bog you down with over 60 sheets of card. We wanted you to have a little sample so you could play with them. So we've had these packs so you get two sheets of each colour. So you've got two of this lovely grey. As you can see, this is very mottled. It's got a slight texture to it, which is quite lovely. Uh, gives your, your sort of projects a luxury feel to them. The GSMs do vary slightly between these cards, but the effect stays the same, hence why we've bundled them together. You're then going to get two of this next shade. Probably my favourite, actually. I've gone through a lot of this one. But then I do like the grey. The grey's a good one because it goes with everything. And I always say that about grey. Then you've got the parchment shade. So very vintage, very good for your distress effects. Perfect to work with. And don't forget, you're getting two sheets of each one of these. Every one of them I'm flicking through. There are two sheets here. So you'll end up with 12 sheets in total of your cardstock. We then have, and this is quite bright, this is called, this is your yellow shade. And you can start to see how these colours are all going to go together. So even if we take the yellow and we want to put it over here with that one, maybe we want the yellow and the grey to go together. Or maybe you're thinking, well, how about if I was to cut some yellow flowers, put them on the parchment colour, and bring in some green to go in for the foliage? Is that going to look okay? 
I think you'll agree it does. It looks lovely. Then we have the blue. So that will give you all six shades of your cardstock. You're going to get two pieces of each one. If you fall in love with it and you want more, or maybe you're looking at this already and thinking, I'm going to need more of that, Jamie. You're right, that's lovely. Then, of course, you could add on your 10 packs, uh, which you'll find on the handpicked by Jamie Page on the Craftmania website. So if you do want more of it, it is there. You can get it. But in your bundle, you're going to have them 12 sheets. So we've got 12 sheets of card. We've got the Petite Dianthus. We've got the Roxy Frame. We've got the Phil Martin Stamps. We've got the Dragonfly Die. And we've got the Elsa background. That completes your October bundle. And as I said, your recommended retail price for that little collection is £69.21p. But you can buy all of that together for only £30. Now, if you are new to our handpicked by bundles, you've possibly guessed this already. These sell out really, really quickly. Um, however many we get, and we, we keep up in the ante, every month we buy more and more and more stock. And yet still, by day two, day three, we are sold out and we are begging people to give us more stock so we can do more of them. These bits do come from different suppliers, so it's not always that easy. We've got as many as we think we're going to need and as many as we could get hold of. I'm not saying we can't do more again, but there may well be a delay. So if you like the look of this and you want to be the first to get your hands on it, don't hang around. Get them while we've got them. And at the moment, they're already in the warehouse. They're ready to go. Daniel is on hand, ready to post them. So don't hang about and get yours ordered. Now, as I mentioned, this is a free PMP bundle for the UK. So your £30 will get that delivered right to your door. Uh, if you do live internationally and you'd like to order it, then it is just capped at £10. You can read all about that on the website under the frequently asked questions bit, if I remember rightly, or customer service. One of the tabs at the top. Give them a click. Something will come down. It will tell you all about shipping and uh, of course that'll be on there too now again with our videos what we like to do is we like to give you some inspiration so if you've looked at that line you think well, that's great but how am i going to bring it together i've spent a couple of days well actually i didn't have a day it's been short this month it's not been good it's been a busy month but i have had a little bit of time to make some samples that i can share with you now again i shouldn't tell you this and i, don't, I haven't bought them into teasy with them actually um actually i haven't got some of the bits i need but never mind it's okay it's not the end of the world. Uh, throughout the month there will be more bundles coming not hand-picked bundles not this style of bundle but a couple more bundles now when i spoke about the spellbinders video we uploaded on about the 29th of september in that video there was a couple of sneakies at what will be coming bundle wise throughout october so if you didn't see that video and you want to see that video if you want to see the sneakies go have a little look at that one as well because you'll fall in love with them. I will show you the folders at the end of this video, but let's show you some of the uh, samples you could create with this bundle, shall we? So this one here, we have got our dragonfly. Now, you can stick them down flat like you see on the in the packaging that Sue had done, or you can leave them 3D. I quite like them 3D. It gives me an excuse to build up my layers, have quite a pronounced um, dragonfly on there. In the background, you can see our Elsa die. So again, we're bringing in them layers. We're playing around with them different sets. We're using our different colours of cardstock. So we've got some coconut white, we've got white card, and we've got that parchment colour of the card that's going to come to you in your bundle, all working together beautifully. Add on a few pearls, very simple card created in minutes. Then we'll move on to our next one. So I spoke to you about bringing the colours together, didn't I? I said to you, should we have parchment? Should we bring that peach? Should we bring in that yellow? This is the result of one of those style of cards. So the colour-wise of your card socket is going to work together beautifully. We can see we have the Petite Dianthus used for our flowers down here. We've got the Roxy background and we've got the Dragonfly. We're playing with the different colours. We've got the peach, we've got the parchment, we've got the yellow. It's all working quite nicely. The panel here in the background is, of course, Roxy. Now, don't forget when we spoke about Roxy, that one can either be cut out with the outside frame or like I have here. I've just used this filigree part and I've cut it into a noble rectangle. So I've got a nice squared edge to it, but I've got that filigree effect from the Roxy die. These parts here, which are coming out from in the flowers, these are the bits that have fell out of the Roxy pieces. So all of these twiddles that come away, if you would like to use them to go in with your flowers, to have them sort of twiddles and that foliage style effect, absolutely use them. So again, we're using up the bits that sort of come with it. And it shows again how your flowers and your oxidite, they're going to work together. We really have thought about this to try and make it all so it comes together for you and you're going to enjoy using it and waste or, or not use as, as few pieces as possible. 
moving on to our next card oh this is the one i'm going to demo for you today actually we're going to do it in a different color but it's going to bring together this card so again we've got our roxy die and roxy's actually been layered twice and i'll talk to you more about that when we do it but we have roxy layered in the background here this time we have used the outside edge to cut it out we've also used the dragonfly and we've stuck this one together flat but we still have our three different colours going through on the layers. We also have the petite dianthus going around the side here and coming up on the top of the Roxy die around that side. The embossing in the background has just been scored on a scoreboard and then layered using some of the lovely minty green card from in your card bundle that you're going to receive as well. A few random pearls and that creates that card. And as I say, that's the one we will demo for you shortly so you can see how that's going to come together. Moving on. Another Roxy card here. We've got our Roxy die used in the background. Now, just like we did for the card that we mentioned a little while ago, I've cut the Roxy panel into a Noble die as the background. I've then cut the Roxy die out for the top layer here with the outside edge. So it can be 3D'd on top, but you can still see that lovely yellow card coming through from underneath. I've also then added the flowers on around the side, again using the white twiddles that have come out from the Roxy die cut. And then, of course, we also have our dragonfly on the top here, going between the white levels and that lovely sort of yellowy butterscotch card as well. So, again, bringing it all together, toning it in. I often mention this, and I've said this a million times on videos and TV and different bits. I always feel if you can put a colour into a card in three places, it makes it belong. So these dies to me are great because it means I can subtly put them into the dragonfly. So I've got that in there. I've got it in the flowers and I've got it in the layer underneath. So to me, it looks like it's grounded. It belongs. It's there for a reason. Throw on this matte and layer in the background here and we've actually now got it in four places as well as sort of sneaking through underneath that layer too. It just sort of works to my eye. You might not agree. It, you might not follow that rule, I don't always, but it's just one I find can be quite handy. If you ever put a colour on a card and you think, well, it just doesn't look right, it doesn't quite sit there, it doesn't look like it belongs, try placing it in a couple of other places. It might shock you how that will ground it and make it look like it belongs. Then we go on to our lovely grey card. So this one is all grey and white. Well, of course, we've got the stamp on this one as well. So we've got one of the stamps out of the bundle. This is Enjoy All Life's Simple Pleasures. And these fit quite nicely in the top of the Roxy frame. So again, four of four of you. It's going to work. It's going to fit. It's going to match in perfectly. Stamp them in the top there. That's just using some of our grey memento ink. Stamp that one in the top. Layered my dragonfly down here. Not stuck it flat this time. I've left it so there's a few layers to this one. So we can see them different pieces. Getting them shadow effects coming through. Roxy again has been cut into another one of the uh, rectangle panels by Sue Wilson. One of them stitched rectangles. So again if you do want to cut this into another shape or a bigger shape you can do. Then if we go to the inside of the card. I've just complemented again. So we've got that grey element going on on the inside white insert few pearls to match in and it just squares out the card instead of leaving it as a rectangle i was very conscious a lot of cards i've made was a rectangle so it's quite nice to show you how you can use even the rectangle elements of this on square cards or other shape sizes moving on we're going to look at this one now this is where this all started for me when i was starting to think of what i wanted to bring together for you how i wanted it to work what elements i needed for you to be able to play around with the first thing that struck me is how the Roxy die set could layer perfectly over the layered background. And you can see this working perfectly on this card. When we bring these two pieces together, so we've got your Elsa background, and then we bring in the Roxy die, you can see that that is gonna fit perfectly underneath. And this is the card that I actually did with that working. So we've got the layers from Elsa, then we've got the layers from Roxy. Obviously using that middle die from Roxy to cut out that central part so we could sink them layers in underneath it. A little bit of foam tape to just layer them up one on top of the other. And then of course we've got the matching dragonfly coming in on the corner, again with the same shades used throughout the card. I didn't add a sentiment to this one, but you certainly could add an insert using one of your sentiment stamps if you would like to. But I really did like how those layers sat together and it all sort of come together in that format, just using the two colours of card. Then we have this one. Now this one is using our blue card from our bundle. So again, Roxy background, this time cut into a square panel. So again, you don't have to stick to a rectangle just because it's a more rectangular frame. Cut into a square panel, dragonfly coming off on the diagonal, little flowers going around the side here from the petite dianthus, and then another one of our stamp sentiments, of course, from the stamps in the bundle. 
So just layering all of these components together, really having fun with how they're going to go together and, and sort of layer and, and seeing how that works for you. Then with the layer dies, I did mention you don't have to cut them out. So you're going to see on a couple of the cards we've actually cut them out. We've used other dies or guillotines. Why not just literally simply take it and cut it into the front of your card? So this was my card blank. Oh, if I can hold on to it. This is my card blank. All I've done is I've taken the panel, sent it through the machine, cutting out the actual filigree part, which is this die here, if I can get hold of it, into the front of the card. Now, again, because this one doesn't have an outside blade attached to it, it's going to stay in your card. So whether you wish to use it like I have here as a landscape, or you would like to turn your card and make it a portrait, is completely up to you. I've then used one of our nesting frame sets, again, one of the noble dies from Sue Wilson, to cut out a frame to layer on top of some frame tape. I've used another one of the stamps from in the little stamp set to go on the front there. And then on the inside, I've just layered using my colours of card once again, just to complement, just to sort of bring it all together going through there. If I had have wanted to, I could have also used the backing plate, cut this from another colour of card, and actually placed that behind the design so it matched up perfectly. So I could have had that shadow colour coming through as well. So again, having these dies that coordinate is going to help you sort of achieve them effects if that's something you'd like to do. Now, talking of layering them two together, here's another card with that set of dies used. And this time we have layered them together using that lovely um, butterscotch colour card with that white underneath it built up frame around the side again and then just another one of the stamp sentiments on the bottom from that set of stamps as well so hopefully you're starting to see how all of these pieces these components these parts of your bundle can all really work together now i'm going to be honest i did a couple of quick little bits that brings us up to about nine samples did a couple of quick little bits i wanted to just share with you because i like the idea that you can see more than just cards so that same die set just repeatedly cut going around in a, a panel and then wrapped around a candle now obviously this is a decorative piece and if you was to light the candle you'd have to remove the the cover i don't want to be responsible for any bonfires going on um, but of course as a decorative piece if you're not going to light the candle then you should be absolutely fine to add decorations to them so that's one of the candles i did and then also did this one and i love this little um sort of saucer that i have handed down from my grandparents so i wanted to make a little decoration as such to go on the top of it so i've used that die once again wrapped that round the candle added on a little bow and then a little button in the middle just to finish it off but it just sort of ties in with the color scheme of the room that it's going to head to and it's just a nice way to again think of different ways that you could be making bits to sell maybe you know we are now moving into october or we're in october once we've shared this video with you um you might be starting to think about your your christmas fairs your gift fairs your christmas gifts even cheap candles do a couple of decorations on them you've got some nice gifts for friends and family the angel policy at creative expressions which is where all of your dies and your stamps come from in this bundle is a really generous angel policy as long as you've used the products to make something with you're more than welcome to sell as many as you'd like but if you do have questions regarding the angel policy pop onto the creative expressions website and at the very bottom it has angel policy just give that a click and it'll tell you all um, from their words uh, how it all works but it's as i say very generous and it does mean that you can make and sell as many products as you'd like to with these as long as it's a handmade item so i promised you a little demo uh where did we put the card this is the one that we are going to create so we're going to start off here with our card blank and build up now i did mention we were going to work in a different color today so we're going to actually work with the blue card stock from the bundle so we're going to start off with our card blank now i know a lot of you like to know the sizes so the actual card blank for this one is five and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches and then i've just taken my blue card from the bundle and i've stepped down at just half an inch or quarter an inch quarter an inch on each side so this one will be five and a half inches by six and a half inches and we're going to place that on there now I've, I've been honest with you when i've been working through my kit this card is too nice to use so i've actually been gutting which is a, a horrible word for saying cutting the middle out of your cardstock but i have been taking the bits out of the middle and i've been using them to die cut my flowers and from that and I, I don't want to guarantee this but i'm pretty sure i tried to be as fair and honest as i can be i don't think out of all of the cards and projects i've made i used any more cardstock than you're going to get in your bundle um i did get a bit confused at one point and my original stockpile did get confused with my 
bundle bar, but I'm pretty, pretty sure that all of this is out of the same amount of card you've got in your bundle. So you should be good to create an awful lot out of your 24 sheets that you're going to receive, two of each colour of six. That's 12, not 24. Oh, maths. I oh, can't do maths. So 12 sheets of cards, sorry. So moving on to our white layer, this one's going to step down a little bit. It's four and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. And we're going to place that one on the top there, just stepping down. We're then going to bring in a piece that I've already scored and we're stepping down further with this one. So again, same colour card stock, just scored ready on my scoreboard every half a centimetre, just to give that sort of ribbed card style. I'm going to take that and we're going to place that down into the middle here. I'm just using Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue, by the way. It's a nice, quick drying glue. I've gone for the 60ml bottle today, but we do it in quite a few different versions and sizes. And you will always find this on offer on our website, all of the different Cosmic Shimmer glues um, and sizes. They're part of our Essentials collection, so they're always on offer. That may come to an end at some stage, but at the moment, it's still very much there. Then look into our Roxy die. So I've got a head. I said to Pete before we filmed this, should I show them them cutting? And we were like, no, you know how a die cuts. So for speed, I've done this already. So we have our backing plate done out of the same shade of blue card. We then have our next layer down. So for this one, I haven't used that die in the middle. We're going to leave that out of the way so that that part stays solid as the centre. On the third layer, we have cut that out so that we now have this as an open. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to glue it down on top of that blue one. And for speed, we're just going to do a few dots and dabs around the edges, just so you don't have to watch me for hours applying glue. Now, the nice bit with a dry clear glue is if it does come out the edge slightly, it's not the end of the world because it will dry clear. We're then going to take this and place this down on top of our panel. And then what I wanted to do with the next layer is I just wanted to create a little bit more of a shadow. These bits in the middle here, I thought it would be nice if we bring this in, we've gained this sort of half a centimetre area to shrink down that area in the middle, give a bit more focus and a little bit more depth to the cut. So we're going to take this and we're going to add some glue around this one. Now again, I think this could be quite nice if you was to cut two or three of these and layer them together. So that's actually quite a step in the middle there. You don't have to, but it's just quite a nice way to give a bit more dimension and a bit more of a luxurious finish to your card. We'll add on our glue around this one, around the tops there, into these delicate bits, and around this one. I think this Roxy die would look lovely for Christmas if you're still working on your Christmas cards. I could see this done and shadowed with gold behind it and being like a really posh flourish. Also might work quite nicely with the Peacock dies by Sue Wilson. I don't know why, but I'm seeing that working quite nicely. So again, much more options than just what we're bringing you today. But certainly today, you've got a good starting point with this set. And we'll place that on. We'll slide that just over into place. Joy of wet glue. We've got that little second of movement. And then we have our frame complete. So we're going to bring in some foam tape at this point. I'm going to use some woodware foam tape for the back of this. And we're going to turn this and place these down on the reverse. Just to give us that small little lift that we need to go onto our card. I check that I'm opening this the right direction. The amount of cards I'm making the wrong way isn't even funny. And we're going to place that one down. We're then going to bring in our dragonfly. Now, I've mentioned this can be cut out in multiple layers, and that's exactly what I have done here. So we have our full body part here as a solid, which is actually quite pretty on its own. And if you wanted to 3D these or use them on their own, decorate, stamp on them, I think that would look quite lovely. But we're going to take the next level down from our die set, and we're going to stick this one on top. Now, I'm going to be a bit naughty. I'm going to use some glue, and I'm going to put it out onto my hand. Um, if you're going to do this, just do a little patch test first just to check that you don't have a reaction to the glue i'm going to be honest with you i do this about 10 times a day on average and i'm still here so <laughs> it's going okay for me but do just do a little test if you're uh, at all worried i'm going to make sure that all lines up i'm going to place that down again joy of wet glue we've got that second to just make sure it's all in the right place and then we're going to bring in the third layer so on with our next one a little bit more glue and we're going to pad this one through. Now, if you would also like to, be in a symmetrical shape, and I know we're not doing this today, and I haven't actually made any examples like this, but I do do a lot of Christmas trees. If you wanted to fold this literally in half down the middle of the spine of the dragonfly, so if you folded it 
Mm -mm, let's get that in place first before we start pulling it about. If you were to fold it literally so then wings come up like so, you could then stick them back to back to back and make little hanging decorations, which would be quite pretty as well. Maybe you want to hang them in the aperture of a card as a little spinny, twisty bit that's sort of all sides, different colours, different layers. That would work really nicely and could absolutely be done. We're then going to take our foam tape again and we're going to bring in just a small amount. Let's see if we can just cut this down slightly. So we've got just a step for our body of our lovely dragonfly. We're going to add our foam tape onto the back of that. And then we're going to bring this going up into the top of the frame. And then we're going to just pinch our wings to give them a bit more of a sort of curve to them. And place them going round. Okay, and then we're going to go on to our flowers. So with our flowers, I have jumped ahead. I, I try to do a lot in prep for speed because I know that when you're watching these, A, you've got to get an order it before it's sold out. And B, you don't want to watch me waffling for hours, do you? So I've already gone ahead and I've taken some tweezers. And all I've done is put the tweezers in the middle of the petal and pinch the petal round it. And that's given each one of my petals a slight V to it. From there, I've taken the next shade or the next size and I've layered that one inside the other and just offset it so it infills the gap with a little bit of glue on the bottom of it. And that's built my flower around. Now, I've actually stuck all of mine just to be in sort of one colour. But as you can see quite nicely, you could certainly alternate between your colours. And the cardstock bundle that you've got in this pack would work really well for that. We're then going to bring these flowers in. And we're going to place these going around the Roxy frame. So we're going to put our first one on down here. Then we're going to go for our next one. Add a bit more glue onto the back of that one. And then we're going to use these smaller ones. And we're going to work up the side of the Roxy frame. Another one down here. And then a little cute mini one that we can bring in and put right up here in the corner. Now, I haven't bought in my tweezers today by the looks of things. Or have I? I might be. Here they are. I knew I'd have some somewhere. So we'll bring in our Eleganza gems. Now you're going to find these on the website as well. So many things on it. If you've never been on our website, do you know we stock over 10,000 items? Literally 10,000 items. And I don't even want to, I'm going off on a tangent now, so apologies. I don't even want to guess how many new items we added in September. I would say somewhere in the region of about 350 new items. Might even be more than that, to be honest. That's guesswork. It's been a big month, September. We've been stocking a lot of Ranger products. So there's all the new Alka Winks, or all the Alka Winks on there. The Foundry Waxes are on there. Um, lots of Archival Ink Pads have been added. Oxide re have been added for the whole 70 colours, or whatever it is loads of colours, um, everything's on there, there's so much, so if you haven't been on the website recently, do go check it out if uh, if you haven't sort of had a peruse, we've also, while I'm sticking these on, I'll tell you the truth, we've also had a little um, tidy up of our website, and we've also added in a brands page, oh that one's gone forever, we've also added in a brands page, where you can go on there, it's on the menu bar, so you'll find it quite easily, and you can find the menu, uh, uh, the brands page, sorry, on the menu, and go down it, and there's all little sections telling you, like, Ranger, Eleganza for your gems, uh, Creative Expressions, Woodware, and you click on them pages, and it opens up, and it shows you everything that we get from that brand. So instead of you having to sort of traipse through over 10,000 items, um, going around in circles a little bit, That'll hopefully make it a little simpler for you. We've also redesigned an awful lot of the pages that we have on the website so that they're a little bit more direct. There's still a lot of work to do, don't get me wrong. I, I never tell you a lie for this one. That Oh, lost one, come back you. Um, I'll never tell you a lie that we know what we're doing with a website. We don't. It's been a bit of a learning curve over the last couple of years. Uh, and we are trying slowly but surely to perfect it. But every day is a learning day. And every day we try something new. And at the moment, these are sort of our latest changes, but there is more coming. So do keep an eye on the website while we update it in the coming weeks. Uh, but at the moment, lots of changes. So if you are sort of, if you've been avoiding it or you haven't been on there or you've never even seen us, do go check it out. Lots on there to look at. And then that completes our little card. Let me just try and get hold of this one. And there you go. So that's the blue version of it. And then if I stand it side by side, you can also see the green version as well. But of course, with all your different colours of card, 
You could be making these in each shade if you would like to. And they're very easy to do. We didn't really put a lot of effort into that, did we? Just a couple of cuts, a couple of layers, a little bit of scoring and a few pearls. All done there very nice and easily. Your pearls, as I mentioned, they're one of our Eleganza products. And we do lots of lines of pearls and then dots and pearls and gems. And yeah, go check them out. Loads on there. But they are the, the mixed size pearls in white that I was using. So you get three different size pearls all on one sheet. And they're very inexpensive. So that completes that card for you. And before we run through your bundle again, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit. I'm going off on another tangent. I'm all about tangents today, aren't I? Your embossing folders. I mentioned these in passing earlier. They're not in your bundle, obviously, but Spellbinders cut and emboss folders are more products I didn't mention. I told you all about the range of stuff. We've also bought in Spellbinders over 40 brand new dies and cut and emboss folders. And the good news is the cut and emboss folders are all 50% off at the moment, but when they're gone, they're gone. And we were talking about this on that video I mentioned on the 29th, around there, somewhere about there. Uh, and I know that a lot of them have already started to go and they may already be sold out by the time the video launches on the 1st of October. But if they haven't, you might want to look at these. These are cut and emboss folders as they go through, their name gives it away a little bit, but they're gonna cut and emboss. So. As you can see here, these little white areas, they're going to cut out your little pieces for you. So you've got that sort of extra dimension to your folder. Uh, this is the Coyote. Coyote. I always keep getting this wrong. Pete, my poor cameraman, he laughed at me when I did this the other day. It took about three takes to get it right. But this is one of the folders. So bad. This is one of the folders uh, that we have for you. And as you can see, this one, again, is quite a nice size. And it is half price, so it should be ten ninety nine, and it's only five pound fifty. There is, I'll try a couple more names, shall I? Flora and fauna, I can do that. This one is one of our butterfly ones. So again, butterfly bits, cutouts in the middles of the flowers, to give you an idea of that one. There is also a smaller size set, and let's try and get rid of these. I'm sort of covering my desk up now, aren't I? Smaller size ones. These ones should be nine ninety nine, and they're only five pounds. And there's quite a few of these for you to see. So just a quick flick through them. But do go back and watch the video and listen to some of my terrible pronunciations that, as I say, was launched about the 29th of the month. You'll find it on YouTube. You'll find it on our Facebook page. But the reason I'm going on about these and going off on this tangent is I made a few sample cards with them and I used the cardstock that you've got in this bundle. So again, more ideas for you with that cardstock if you'd like to see them. You have got the background one done on this card here as a debossed version. When we bring in this one, we've got the peach card going on. We're also seeing the cutouts from the parchment colour and the green colour as well. And then if we bring in the final card from that set, we've also got this one with the grey colour card. And it's actually been teamed with a teal from Creative Expressions. So again, working together very nicely with cardstock that you've possibly already got in your bundle. So just a quick recap of your bundle. And then I'm going to stop yabbering and leave you in peace until the 1st of November. So let's see what's in here. And actually, that is a lie because we've got lots going on throughout October. So you might escape me if you're handpicked by bundles to the 1st of November. But as I mentioned earlier, there is a couple of little videos coming that I think you're going to like. So with your cardstock, you have got six colours. You have got two sheets of each, giving you 12 sheets of card. You've got the blue, you've got the green, you've got the yellow, you've got the parchment, you've got that lovely peachy shade, and you've got the grey. They are going to be in your bundle for you. We then have your die sets. So let's bring these back again just for a quick flick through. We have got that Roxy die that we've been looking at a lot. We have got the Petite Dianthus die that we've looked at quite a lot. We've got the Elsa background die. We then have that Dragonfly die. And then to finish off your bundle, you've got your set of stamps from of course Phil Martin too. Now don't forget your bundle should be £69.21p but your offer price for this is only £30. So you're saving what's that £39.21p? It's ridiculous isn't it? £39.21 saving on a £30 bundle. So get them why we've got them. Warning, I think they're going to go very quickly, as you can see why. Um, we don't want to sell out of these so fast that you can't get your hands on them. So do please get them before we do that happens. Uh, don't miss out. We've had this many months where we're sort of out of them by the middle of the month or even the first week. And we simply cannot get them again. So grab it while you can. Don't forget, free PMP within the UK, uh, capped at £10 for international shipping. 
order on the website www.craftmaniacrafts.com link will be in the description above uh, so you can find us there or of course if you don't like ordering line line give us a call 01493 843 666 Daphne is always on hand 9am to 7pm seven days a week to take your orders and if she does escape out for five minutes which we do sometimes let her uh, there is an answering machine there and you can leave a message and she will give you a call back the minute she returns and she'll process your orders for you or answer any of your questions then you can of course also shop in store with us at craft Mania essentials 6 regent street great Yarmouth, norfolk and that of course is in the uk for our international viewers uh, you can find us if you'd like to via our postcode which is nr31rn thank you very much for watching today i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you've picked up lots of ideas of what you can do with this bundle as one last remaining thought before i forget because i've got a memory like a fish don't forget every saturday and wednesday and craft mania design team members will be sharing a post with this collection so ian and lynn uh let's try and get this right lynn shares a post every saturday ian shares a post every wednesday they will be bringing you more ideas throughout the whole of the month of october with this collection so if you want more inspiration keep an eye on that you'll be able to find their posts on our closed facebook group which is create with craft mania and jamie rogers or you of course you can pop onto the website and go to the little tab that says blog and on there you will find all of their posts they've done them for every month for the last couple of months and then this month is no different i know they're already busy working around lots of inspiration so hopefully give you more ideas on how you can use this and bring it to life and don't forget share with us your creations we would love to see what you're doing so if you make some cards with this bundle or any other products you've bought from craft mania please don't hesitate to share with them share with us your creations on the group which as i said is a closed group on facebook and it is of course called create with craft mania and jamie rogers we would love to see what you're getting up to Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye for now.